just kind of sit in rock pose um, on your feet and just some nice stretching. Just begin just finding a little flow, stretching your arms up, open the chest, lift up and stretch. And press your shoulders down and then stretch and reach up and press down. And then just release your hands down, lift the chest up, maybe, maybe bring the hands back and just do a little open the chest, shoulder blades coming together. I think this feels nice. Sort of gently pumping, lifting. And then clasp the hands and just lift them behind you. Pressing shoulders back, lifting chest, shoulder blades coming together, countering all of the one way that we have a tendency to do our shoulders. Maybe lifting the glance up. Bring the core in and lift the spine. And then release, maybe do a little shrug or roll the shoulders a couple of times one way and then the other. It's releasing all the tension that we have in our shoulders. And then staying in this position, just because it's kind of fun to change it up, we end up in Sukhasana so much. Let's just spider fingers out. Really visualize and feel expanding across your chest. And then flip again, inhale, scoop up, active arms. Inhale, reach up, pressing shoulders down. Really activate the spine, the core. And then exhale, twist to the left. So you know the drill, inhale, straightens, exhale, twist. Roll your eyes around. And come back around, get that position again, opening up the shoulders, feel across the collarbones, expanding. Flip, inhale, scoop, straighten, lift, exhale, twist the other side. Same thing, get the eyes in the game. And then come back around. Maybe just slide the fingers forward in a in a child's pose this way, reaching, make it active or just melt here. Maybe you wiggle, open up the ribs, feel the opening all up and down the back. Let's expand, reaching. Oh, we'll bring some nice deep breaths in here. Maybe let your head just fall forward. The next inhale, drag those fingers back up and let's just come onto our back. Can you see me? Okay. Okay, good. Good, good, thank you. Hug it. and you can hear okay, right? Yep. Perfect. So hug the knees, rock from side to side. Maybe press in a little in the sacrum if you wanna do a little wiggle here. Just warming up. Getting some tension out, starting our Friday, ready for a beautiful weekend, feeling safe and secure and happy. Happiness is good. And then placing your hands behind your thighs, let's just rock back and forth, getting that spine even more awake. Make sure your core is in this. So maybe come up, touch your toes. Maybe roll back a little more. So just beginning to find a little more, maybe eventually bringing the toes back and holding and plow. And then coming down, back on your back, really reach the feet up to the ceiling, bring the hands up, do a little shake out, fingers and toes toward the sky. And then bring the feet down onto the mat. Open
open up the shoulders. Take the right ankle under. We're going to do floor pigeon, supine pigeon. So bring that right ankle over, hands behind, lifting here. Open up the hips. <sighs> Just holding this for about five more nice long breaths. <sighs> you know, you can always straighten the leg or keep it in the 90 degree. One more nice big inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. Bring that other foot down. Maybe open the hands back up and do a little windshield wiper. And then left ankle across the right. High, top of thigh, come into supine pigeon, right side. Couple more nice long breaths. Then you're pressing your shoulders down, open up the chest, open up the hips. One more nice big inhale. Exhale, release down and windshield wiper, arms out. Just enjoy. And then let the, let the legs just fall over just for a nice little spinal twist here. So if you want to have them over to the right side, right hand holding, left head, left. Look, your glance goes to the left side. <laughs> your look is to the left, your knees are to the right. That's what I was trying to say. You want to make it a little more intense, you can bring that leg and just bring it on top of the right one, or you can take the one on the bottom and bring it on top. One more nice big breath here. And then bring it on up. Just maybe bring your knees in a little wiggle here and then release them over to the other side. So whatever you choose to do, however you wanna wrap your legs or just keep them on top and over. Just find the stretch that you need here. And then inhale, bring them up. Have them in, a little wiggle. Open up your arms and bring those legs into 90 degrees. And let's begin with a lot of core. Just bringing them from side to side. Don't go all the way down to the floor. Working the core. So glance is the opposite way of the knees. A few more times here. And then back up, hands behind your thighs. Let's give it another little rock and roll here. Should feel pretty, pretty good. Come all the way up through seated into tabletop. So finding your tabletop, right back. Let's go ahead and work the wrists though. We haven't done this in a while. So taking the wrists, the hands around and just opening them up more. This should feel pretty good. Working them around. Then coming back into tabletop and any organic movement you want before we go into cats and cows. So just waking up your body in this pose.
and then moving through cows and cats. Nice breath, deep breath cycles. <sighs> Maybe opening your mouth and sticking your tongue out on the exhale. And then press the toes back and just sit back for a little toe stretch here. Make sure and pull the pinky out. I like to inhale and reach up here. Tucking the hips, really bring the core in, lengthening the spine, activating the core, reaching up. It's also a good distraction as well as wonderful for the pose and to activate core and arms by ears. One more breath. Exhale, bring your hands down, tap your feet out. Good. Let's go ahead and take the right toes out and press them. That should feel pretty good if you want to come up and down. Just a little more work on the toes. Then bring that left hand out, reaching square hips. Imaginary weight on the back of your leg. Before you lift it, fire it up. Feel the glutes and everything just active. And then lift. So feel how strong that leg is as you reach out with the left hand, reach back with the right leg. Square the hips, find the integrity of the pose, then bend, reach back with the foot, lift up. You know the drill. Gently lower, release, stretch back out, hold it. And let's do those five crunches on the right side. One, three, four, five, hold it. And then bring it out. And let's do five toe touches. One, up, two, three, four, five. And then bring it down, come into gateway. Inhaling, right hand over, stretch, open. And then wind around for the left, reach, stretch. Good. And windmill into side plank. So any balance work you want to do here, bringing the leg up or back. Now let's take the right leg in front, flat foot, open up the chest and do dips. Five, four, three, two, one. And then just come around and find your plank. And let's do a couple of push-ups here. Two or three, yogi's choice. And come back down into tabletop. Ah, work it out. This time left foot goes back. Press those toes. Maybe just Rock back and forth. Then really straighten and activate that left leg while you reach out with your right arm. And stretch. Square those hips. Place that weight on the leg and lift up. Fire it up. Reaching. And then reach back and lift that leg. And release and reach out again and then do those crunches five okay and hold it after you do five reach out to the side bring that leg out try to miss your furniture <laughs> and tap five four Three, two, one. Hold it. 
and lower it. Coming into gateway on the left side. Tuck the hips, open the chest. Inhaling, left hand over. Finding your way, maybe touching the floor or bringing, sliding your hand down your thigh. Just wherever you want to go with this. Reach, open the ribs up and windmill over to the other side. Sliding the hand down the left leg. Avoiding pressing on the knee area. Just open. And then windmill. Finding your side plank on the right side. Any balance work that you want to do on this side. And then coming over into plank and lower into forearm plank. So just holding this for one full breath and then we're going to do the five knee to elbow in forearm plank. Begin right leg five. Four, three, two, one. Left side. Four, three, two, one. And then just pop back up for plank. And then press back into down dog. Adho Mukha Svasana. Downward facing dog, walk it out. Inhaling right leg up, finding your three legged dog. Just breathe into this. Feel the balance of the one leg up, left foot pressing into the mat, hands. Balance into the mat, bend and stack. Open up the hips. Open up the legs, but keep the shoulders square, maybe roll the ankle around. Motion truly is lotion. Joints need that. And then inhale, bring it back up. Wave the shoulders over the wrists. A lot of core here. Bring the foot in between the hands. Spider those fingers. We're going to inhale and hinge forward, playfully rocking back and forth. And then scoop it up for crescent lunge on the right side, dipping five, four, three, two, one, hold it. And then bring the hands down to the mat, finding a nice low lunge, runner's lunge here. Bring your hands on your thigh, bring in that core, and let's come into a low crescent here. Yes. And then come into prayer. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Open up if you want. And then release the hand, one on either side of the foot. Bring the knee down gently, flatten the left foot and come into split prep, finding blocks or whatever you need to assist you or just spidering your fingers. Taking time exploring all the degrees in between forward and backward. There's always little kinks that, that we discover along the way if we just Treat it like a journey. Eventually we'll meet forward, wiggle that foot around, coming into dragon. Coming out of dragon when you're ready. You want to go ahead and just open up a little here too. 
and wrapping your arm, wraps around your waist, just more opening opportunity. And then hands on the inside, excuse me, one hand on the outside of the right foot. Tuck those toes in, press those hands in, inhale, break, Woo, furniture. Right foot all the way up, press down with that left heel. Breathe, bring the oxygen in. And then release the foot down, walk it out. Inhaling left leg up. Enjoying that stretch, warm up that right leg as you open up. And then bend and stack. Bring that leg up, come up on your toes. Waving shoulders over wrists, bring that right foot forward. In between the hands, spider finger, now inhale, spider fingers, inhale, reaching out, hinging, and then rocking back and forth, finding playful movement. Then flip and scoop all the way up. Straighten the arms by the ears. I like the vinyasa jazz hands. Jennifer will make fun of us, but you know, shanga together. So you choose what fingers feel good for you. And let's dip five, four, three, two, one. And just bring those hands down, wiggling into a low lunge. Inhale, hands to thighs. Bring them up, come into prayer, inhale, exhale, twist on the side. Open up if you like. And bringing those hands on either side, lower that back knee down, flat foot and Hanmanasana. Eventually finding your way forward. Wiggle that foot out. Lower into dragon. Breathe into those hips. Inhale, come up. So you want to open up here, reach up with your left arm, really open the space. Maybe you tuck it around your hip, lifting the chest. And then just bring that hand back around, wiggle that foot in, tuck the back toe. And inhale, all the way up. And exhale, press down, walk it out. Let's walk our hands all the way back to our feet. If you want a picture frame, and just sway from side to side. You can always drop your hands and drag your fingers, like you're drawing pictures in the sand, whatever brings you peaceful thoughts. And then next inhale, just fingers in the head, come up last, bring it on up. When you get to the top, rolling your shoulders up and around, press down when you do again. Scrunch up, press down, reverse. Crunch, press, crunch, press. Let's just open our, our neck up just a little bit. The chakra, communication. So don't crunch your neck back, you choose the movement you want, but let's just start with some like, yes, nodding. Open the chest up, make sure we got the core. And then just move into some right to left, side to side. And then if you want to do just some half circles on one side and then the other, or you can completely roll around, you know that, but just be careful crunching the back. And then just come back as straight 
And let's inhale, reaching up, hands together, really reach, tuck the hips. And then exhale, release to the right, and reach, 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 to open up. A lot of core here. And bring it up, good. Inhale, stretch, reach, exhale, oh, left side. Reach, 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 get that core, those hips tucked, open up the heart. And then bring it up. And release and shake it out. Let it fly out of your fingers, out of your toes. Get that anything that just needs to release. Meet me at the top of the mat. Let's begin some Sun A, Surya Namaskar A. So finding your Tadasana, maybe your toes are together, heels a little separate. Finding your breath, thinking about your intention. One night's full breath cycle before we begin. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, come through any way you want, prayer or swan dive. Inhaling, half lift, shoulders back, spine extends, telescoping out, glances out, exhale, plant your hand, step back, maybe right foot first or left or reverse next time, taking your vinyasa. Cobra or a dog. Inhale, look at your hands on your exhale, bring it forward. Half lift, forward fold. All the way up, reaching, let's do it again. Change feet this time. Planting your hands. Now look at your hands on your exhale. Come forward any way you want. Move this chair. Last one. On your breath. Find your sane. Let's just stay in downward facing dog. And wave forward into plank. So holding this for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lowering down all the way to the mat, climbing cobra. Inhale, up and cobra, oh, feeling the upper body strength. For three, two, one. Lower down, hands to the side, working toward locust. Inhale, bring it up. Three, two, one, lower down the other cheek. <sighs> Inhale, come on up again. And maybe fly or swim. And holding in, super girl, super yogi. And then crocodile the hands, bend the knees. Windshield wiper. And then just reach back, holding the feet or the ankles. Let's inhale and come up into bow. Down your rasana. Little rock. And then please, crocodile again and windshield wiper feet. And then release down, hands to the side and cobra. Press up into tabletop. Little movement here. 
and lift up on the knees, standing on knees for camel. One more nice big back bend. We should be warm, yoga pockets. Inhale, rolling the shoulders forward, and then opening the chest, roll back. Pressing hips and thighs forward as you release back, don't crunch your neck. Holding here, really extend, open up. And then come back up. You wanna tuck the toes under, try to find a little lower. Once you do, press those hips back, open that chest, and extend them up. Release down for five breaths. Press hips forward. A lot of core though, protecting your back. One more breath. And slowly coming up, a lot of core. Slowly, gentle on your back, that's intense. Sink back onto your feet, open your knees. Finding a child's pose is a counter, just for a couple of breaths. You want to roll your forehead from side to side. Maybe rocking your body, little hip wiggle for your lower back. Next inhale, come back into tabletop. Toes under, inhaling and then exhale. Press up into downward facing dog. Let's inhale, bring that right leg up. Bend and stack, open the hips. And if you want to, go ahead and flip the dog, but taking your time, do it slowly. Exploring the way that you can just slide the left foot around, bringing the right hand and the right foot, teeter tottering. And finally finding the pose, opening up, nice back bend here, you should feel Pretty open. Maybe your glance is to the right hand. One more breath here. And then gently finding your way. Same, same way, slow, exploring the movement. Inhale, bring that leg up. Wave your shoulders forward over your wrist. Bring the knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take that knee, cross elbow. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, bring that knee to the nose, wave your shoulders forward. Bring that foot in between your hands. Placing the back foot for warrior one. Inhale, bring it all the way up. And sink into warrior one. And releasing your hands, finding a nice clasp, opening the shoulders. Back into the little back bend again. Come forward, humble warrior. Lift those hands up once you're down. See if you can get the hands up higher, rinsing the shoulders, see if the torso can go lower. Keeping the feet pressed firmly on the mat. And then lower the clasp hands. Release and scoop up. Warrior one again. Exhale, plant your hands, take a vinyasa. Inhaling, left leg up. Open up here. Bend and stack. And slowly open your door. Holding here, and then slowly, next breath coming around, taking your time. Inhale up, exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Inhale up, bring the knee across, right elbow, hold it, hold it. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Come back to the nose, wave the shoulders over the wrist, and plant the foot in between. Bring the right foot down for warrior one. Inhale, scoop up, reach, and all the way coming into 
Virabhadrasana one, finding your strength, your pose here, this warrior pose. Nice big inhale, reaching. Exhale, clasp. Open up again in a little back bend if that feels good. And come forward, humble warrior. Then lift those clasped hands up, maybe the torso goes lower. Feel the power in the feet. Explore the pose. Holding here. Can you go lower? And then next exhale, bring the hands down. Unclasping, inhale, bring it up. Yes. And exhale, release, take your vinyasa. Planting hands, finding plank. Walking it out. Inhale, look forward on your exhale. Walk, step, jump or float forward. Inhaling, half lift. Forward fold. Bring it all the way up, reach. And then find Tadasana. Eyes closed, revisiting your intention. Finding yourself back on your mat, open your chest, feel the changes in your body. Shoulders open, chest lifted, bring the oxygen in. One nice big deep breath. Exhale, open your lips. Next inhale, reach up and sink into chair. Ah, Uttakatasana, exploring this pose. You wanna bring your arms up. You wanna bring them forward. How does your body feel today? What serves the pose? What serves your body? What do you need today? How is different? Sinking in here. Let's inhale, come straight up again, reach up. Find the core, tuck the hips, and exhale, sink once again. In the chair, maybe go lower. Let's bring the right hand on top, and eagle arms, and the left leg on top in the eagle for some balance work here. So fire up the glutes and the thighs and sink a little lower. Open the shoulder, maybe lift the arms. Exploring this, lots of core. Feel free to kickstand. It's balance work. You wanna to try to fold. And then come forward. Release that left leg slowly through warrior three. Come back into crescent lunge. And sinking in to crescent lunge, reaching up with the eagle arms. And release all the way up. Come through prayer. Inhale and exhale, twist and crescent. Here, again, nice twist today. Open up if you like. Come back into your twisted prayer. And let's bring that leg back up and down. And just enjoy this twist and chair. Open up again if you want. You can explore side crow. And then come back into the center. We're here. Release and scoop the hands up and then reach up. Ah. You want to shake your legs out a little bit and stretch and then sink back down. All right. A lot of core, a lot of balance. This time bring the right arm under for eagle and left leg is on top. So sinking here. Squeeze those glutes. Those thighs come lower. Did I do left hand? I meant right foot. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I thought, oh, I did that wrong. I know. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we'll stay here a little longer and make sure we balance out those few seconds. So if you want to kind of play with going low and up, just working those glutes, 
Reach up a little bit with the arms, sink lower with the legs if you want to fold. Just exploring balance and strength. Fire up the glutes. Slowly bring it back up and sink lower, reaching up with the hands. Eagle arms, sink, and then release that right leg slowly through warrior three. Eagle arms, or you can do any arms you want. We're gonna end up in crescent. If your balance is rocking, take your time. If it's rocking it, enjoy those good balance days. <laughs> and then release arms, come into crescent. Come through prayer. Inhaling, then exhale, twisting here, and crescent. Open up. Come back into your twisted, and gently coming off that foot, slowly, whoop, my balance. Meeting in chair, then twisted, chair. Sink a little lower. And then come forward and release and scoop up. So you should be feeling it in your thighs a lot, right? Yep. Good. <laughs> All right, so inhale again, reach up, sink into chair, and let's bring left foot up through warrior three. Holding here, and then let's open up into warrior two. More balance, finding warrior two. Good. Let's sink in, find the integrity of the pose, straight body, knee talking to pinky, open up the chest, lifting the heart up. Release the back hand, flip the right, peaceful warrior. Come through, extended side angle. Lower down, just open up here. And do, let's do a couple of arm, one way and then the other. Finding a bind perhaps, bird of paradise is always an option to the balance poses. And then releasing the hands, coming back up into warrior two. Straighten the leg. Any adjustments, we're moving in a triangle. Before we go into triangle, let's just playfully explore, prep for going into Trikonasana, now hinge forward. Make sure hips are tough, chest is open, you're straight, and then release down. Open up, reaching up with the left hand, finding the core, and then go low if you wanna to come toward the toes with peace fingers. Nice full breath here. And then placing one hand on either side, you need to adjust your feet a little bit. You have a block, put the block on one side of the foot. We're gonna move into revolve triangle. So placing left hand on the block, inhale, bring the right hand up and twist. You feel warm and you can move the block. Just listen to your body. Then exhale, place one hand on either side of the foot, a little more balance here, lift up that back foot, and then stack the hips, finding half moon. And then you may wanna place that hand on the hip or reach forward with it as you inhale, come into warrior two, open up. Back in warrior two. And point this toes forward, hands, hips, hinge forward. 
Prasarita, Padmasana, lower, knees down, and finding Skandasana. So anything that you else that you want to do here, um, if you wanted to do a balance pose, an inversion, tripod. If not, let's place our hands on our hips. Inhale, come up and jump feet together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chair pose. Bring those hands in prayer. Sink a little lower. Maybe bring them up again, moving into warrior three on the left side, bring that right foot up. So whatever you want from prayer or warrior three, slowly enjoying your way to open up that right hand and wave around warrior two on the left side. Release the back hand, flip the right, come into peaceful warrior, hold it here. Nice big inhale, exhale, come through extended side angle, reach forward, stretch, open up. Feel the expansion of the ribs, help that digestive system function. Lowering the left hand, reach up with the right, continuing opening up that torso, and do circles to one way, to the other. Maybe finding your bind. Anything else you want to do on this side? And then we will meet back up in Warrior Two. And then straighten the leg, any adjustment for triangle. Begin the playful, hinging back and forth. Reach and come up a lot of core. And then your final time reaching and then lower down, open up hips, open up chest. And you want to lower more, trying to explore, coming closer to the toe, keeping the integrity of that pose, chikanasana. And then bring that right hand down, finding the block or whatever you might want. We're going to move toward. Revolve triangle on the left side, place the hand on the outside of the left foot. Maybe left hand is on hip, right hand on the outside of the foot, and then bring the hand up, revolve. And gently releasing the hand down. Walk around to the front again. Place the left hand in the center. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the, the side angle half moon. Inhale, right hand up. And sweep over with the left hand to the right ankle. So lowering your torso here. Bring that oxygen into the muscles in the back of the right leg and then sweep that left hand down, bring the right hand down. Now inhale, left up and feel the stretch. So straight arm on the right, opening up the chest, reaching up and then let the torso drop, sweeping the right hand over, holding on to the left ankle with the right hand. Reach up and the torso folds down. And then releasing down and go ahead and come back into that triangle position on the left side. Just sort of walk your way back around there and then lift that back foot up. And we meet in Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Opening up the right hand, stack the hips. Really feel link coming in through the leg as you reach up to the sky. And then exhale, bring the hand down, flip down. Go ahead and take a vinyasa, or we can lead in down dog. A 
walking out in downward facing dog. Let's just do a little turbo here, bringing the knees close to the floor, really fire up the core and back, knees to the floor, back. Three more times. And then wave forward and plank. And let's do a couple more push-ups. Let's get that upper body. And back in the downward facing dog. Looking at your hands. Yogi's choice, you can jump forward in Malasana squat or you can inhale and bring that right leg up. With balance, come up on the tippy toes. Bring that knee toward the elbow, wave forward. And then place the foot slowly on the outside of the right hand and with control, lifting the left foot up, a little balance here. And slowly bringing it on the outside of the left hand, sinking into the last one squat. Yes. Good. So, you wanna do crow or crane, or just hang out here for a few breaths. Okay, you close your eyes, remembering your intention. Remembering gratitude for this beautiful day, this life that is ours to actualize. Inhale, coming back. Let's go ahead with the core, bring in those glutes. So bring point the fingers, left thumb over right, press the shoulders back and come up. Inhale, reach up, exhale down. Let's do this three more times. Two, good, good, good. With control. Three, hold it, reach, reach, reach. And then come into goddess. So, adjusting legs and feet for goddess. Take in, tucking those hips in, bring the heels up, sink more. And then inhale, reach up, stay on the toes, balance here. Fire up those leg muscles all the way from the glutes down the calves. Exhale, go low. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, go lower. And hanging out here, put one heel down at a time. Coming up. And then both up. Inhale, reach all the way up. And then heels down in prayer. Once again, lowering into goddess, excuse me, Malasana, garland. And one nice, full, relaxing breath cycle. And then coming all the way down onto our seat. Stretch your legs out. Flex and point your toes as you feel lengthening in the body, reaching up with your hands. We're going to move into seated forward fold. Paschimottanasana, exhale, hinge forward first before you fold. A lot of core here, protect your back. Nice big inhale, and then on your exhale, finally you fold. New breaths here. Next inhale, come up, all the way. Maybe bring your arms back up too. Really feel lengthening in the spine. Exhale, release the arms. Let's bring the feet in for a little Baddha Konasana. So wiggling in, feeling yourself grounded and balancing. Let the knees drop to the floor. Open the chest, lift up. Straighten the spine. Exhale, hinge forward. Maybe the elbows help. The thighs release down lower to the floor, to your mat, hinging forward. And then you can move the elbows forward or anything you want to do to fold a little bit for a couple of breaths here. <sighs> and then next inhale with core finds your way up, bring those knees together. If you want to place your hands behind you, lift your chest and do a little of the 
Windshield wiper with the knees. We're going to be moving into Navasana and the closing series. So, knees together, feet on mat. Inhale, bring the hands up, looking up. Bring the feet up to meet, finding balance, finding core, holding here. You need to lift your legs up so that you can challenge yourself or just support yourself. And let's just go up and down, exhaling into canoe, inhaling, Navasana, canoe to boat. And then once you're back in boat, let's take the right ankle over the left, hugging those knees in. Really fire up that upper body, feel muscles all the way across your chest, into your arms, admiring the biceps, opening the shoulders, bringing the posture in the spine. Everything lifts. Inhale, bring it up. Hold it. And left over right this time. Same thing, other side. Really firing up the core, opening up the chest, upper body strength. That's a longevity indicator. You're going for it. Hold it. And inhale, bring all the way up. Holding here. And then lowering however slowly you want to. Maybe you count of five or six down. You want to come back up and down all along the way. Just let it be your journey, whatever you're needing, the core. And finally, we meet on the mat. Take a nice big stretch. <sighs> and then bring the knees up on edges of the mat for constructive rest. Open up your hands and let the knees windshield wiper. Nice little twisting here. Then grazing your fingers on your heels. You want to do a full bridge or supported bridge, just finding the bridge that suits you for today. You're going into full bridge, clasping your hands, lifting your hips up. Maybe active uh, thighs and glutes, trying to imaginary a block press between your knees, just activating your body in challenging ways or supporting ways or on the block and just letting gravity open you up. After you've done your bridges, then you'll lift your heels in one vertebrae at a time, release down onto the mat and lower your heels, maybe pressing the sacrum in and then lift it up, finding that nice, just working out the lower back. So lift up, make that space in between the back and then press down. Do that a few times. And then work towards shoulder stand or with a prop of lock. You can do waterfall, bringing the legs up the wall that way. Or shoulder stand, then you're in shoulder stand. Don't move your head. Eventually, you can work through plow or deaf man's pose. Knees to the ears, finding your inversion. When you're done with that, you may choose happy baby or fish and then happy baby. If you do fish, you place hands under the sacrum, maybe making that diamond shape, lifting the chest up and releasing the head, maybe wiggling back. You can always challenge a little core in this and lift your legs up and fish. Finally, winding down to the mat. Happy baby. Pressing the spine all the way down, rocking from side to side. And of course, anything else that you feel like you need before Shavasana. Just exploring poses, movement, and hugging. Hugging yourself. 
and then releasing all the way. Legs, arms, taking a nice big stretch, bringing a big breath into your body, flex and point your feet. And then let's tense everything up while you're here. Just tense, 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 making a fist. And then exhaling, melt, release. <sighs> Let all the tension leave. Perhaps the last thing that you do as far as movement is concerned is let your big toes just meet each other, going in, touching, and then flop out. So everything is relaxed now. Taking two nice big breaths as you begin to settle into your natural breath cycle. <sighs> just big exhale on the last one. <sighs> Closing your eyes, reconnecting with intention, finding peace, Shavasana. Feeling the breath return, deep inhale. Bringing the day back in, exhale, any doubt, anything else that you need to just send out of your body. Inhale again, bring the knees into chest, give yourself a big hug, rock from side to side. And roll over to whichever side you choose for a couple of final breaths here. Gently placing your hands, pressing yourself up slowly to meet me in Sukhasana. Thank you for practicing with me today. Taking a nice big inhale. Releasing the hands and then another inhale scoops up slowly with intention reaching. Exhale, hands to forehead. Let's say a nice Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Inhale and prep. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And start center. Namaste.